Guys, if you're looking down and your heart's feeling empty, come have a laugh with us from Shadow Soul 720. Woo! Alright, so, I'm going to be giving you today some tips and tricks on Apex Legends. On the PS4, which I'm playing this on, it seems that Apex Legends has a lot of trouble loading into the game. Because this always happens all the time. So maybe it's a bug um, that needs to be fixed because the game's so recent. Uh, maybe it's just not doing well on PS4. Um, maybe it's because I don't have a PS4 Pro. I, I sort of doubt that though. Um, or it could be that because the game's so new and it got so much publicity so fast and stuff, maybe the server dedicated for PS4, or maybe just the server in general, I don't know, um, is having too many users on it playing at the one time, especially because it's the afternoon, it's the evening, um, and that's when a lot of people play games before going to bed. So, if you have this problem and you have a PS4, uh, get ready to sit down and do some, do some stuff in the background while you wait. So, I recommend, like, I don't know, uh, checking your emails or something. Uh, that's what I was doing before this, actually. I was just checking some text messages and things. So, the tips and tricks I can give you. Um, they're pretty basic, pretty general, uh, but also a little bit advanced. It depends. So, I'm going to talk about the heroes, I'm going to talk about the guns. I'll start with the guns first. So, I, I reckon, here's a short guide. Any gun you pick up that starts with R, at least this far into the game, um, will be full auto and will shoot lots of bullets really fast. I think that these are probably the best guns that do the most damage, apart from like gold weapons of course, like a gold shotgun. Um, but you have to be relatively close to use it, or just have fairly good aim. But again, they have to be relatively close. Um, and I can't help you guys with long distance weapons yet. Apart from like a golden sniper rifle, obviously, because there's a fair few guns in this game, and once you put on, uh, you know, some certain sort of upgrades for them, they do get a lot better. You can see a lot further. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna just maximize this window so you guys can see this. This, you know what? This this sounds alright to me. So you can see a lot more uh, stuff. Whatever. Um. And because that's not available during the training mode, at least from what I know, it's a lot harder to estimate what does what. Uh, there is a shotgun that's incredibly great, um, that lets you fire long distances. Oh, sorry, that you, lets you like hip fire and do a fair amount of damage. If you go into the training mode, it'll be the shotgun on the far, far right. Um, Anyway, actual tips. So, if you want to get better at this game, one thing that you should do is you should definitely make sure that you hold triangle so you can uh, put away your weapon and run faster. That tip is going to help you a lot, especially when you're just looking for items and things at the start of the game. I want to at the start of the game, but once once you're like running away from like uh, when you're trying to get into that circle, when you're trying to get out of the red zone. So, make sure you hold triangle. Uh, next is you want to be sliding a lot. Sliding, it seems to give you a bit of a boost in speed, especially down hills. Down hills, you just, you have to, right? Um, what else? If you hold X when approaching a wall, you actually do a bit of a wall climb, so that's pretty neat. I think that helps out a lot as well. All characters can do this. Uh, your punch does 30 damage. Oh, wow, look, we can actually get into the game. <laughs> it took so long. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming it's like a server issue or something. Um, what else can I say? Okay, uh, big tip. This is really important for a lot of people that are new to the game and aren't very good at... Uh, are just getting used to these controls or aren't that good at the game yet. Whenever your teammates go down, don't instantly go to revive them. A lot of enemy players will camp that uh, downed player. And that's a huge issue. So, don't, but you look fed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't, don't, do, don't go and help your revive, don't revive your teammates immediately. You'll just die. You'll get shot. Make sure you go around and take out the rest of their squad. So that should be three players. 
If there's more teams around, if you suspect that there's more, you know, deal with that first. Um, and also, make sure you're pinging everything. If you're playing on PS4 like I do, that's R1. If you're playing on console, I think it's maybe like F or something, but don't don't quote me on that. Um, ping, ping weapons, ping armor, ping items. It just helps your teammates know what's around. Um, especially if at the start you're going to like diverge off a little bit and explore like separate uh, houses, buildings, we'll say. Um, yeah. So ping things, that's really helpful. You can also ping items in your inventory that you want. So if you go to like where the helmet slot is, you can ping that. And that's going to help you a lot. Um, now going into these... Okay, so I've talked about guns a little bit before. Uh, so we have shotguns, right? Uh, the Peacekeeper, I think, is good. If you want a one-shot, one-kill sort of shotgun, real close, Peacekeeper is your thing. Uh, it, I think it has the highest output, apart from, I think it's the Mastiff, maybe? Whatever's that golden shotgun weapon that's uh, really strong. Whatever that is. Um, and then, I think it's one of these two. You can actually shoot fairly fast and uh, hip fire. So, you, yeah, yeah, feel free to do that. I don't know if, if it's close range. Pistols. Uh, I think that this one's the best. Wingman has the most power, um, so it's good for aiming down sights a little bit more. Uh, the RE45 is great if you want to just full, you know, it, it, it's auto. It's auto. So you just, you, you pull the trigger. It fires constantly at an enemy, so... Close range situations, go this one, wingman, if you want a little bit further back, or that. It's whatever style suits you and what's available. Uh, and this one's semi-auto, so... You have to click the trigger a few times, or the, click the mouse button a few times to actually get it to fire really fast. I don't like it much, but... Who knows what will change in time. Sniper rifles. Okay. Kraber. That's the gold weapon one, and it's great, and you always want that, basically. So, make sure you're getting it. Otherwise, uh, these three are probably pretty good with scopes on them. So, definitely check that out. It'll be worth your time. Assault rifles. Again, this one starts with R, 301. This is my favorite assault rifle. I think it does the most damage, and that's also, it, like, the most damage in the shortest amount of time. So it's got the highest DPS, in my opinion. Um, especially at close distances. Or, like, mm, yeah, yeah, fairly close distances. Not quite shotgun range, but fairly close. So, <clears throat> if you have a character like Mirage that can go invisible, and you want to get up close to your enemies, I'd say doing this is pretty good. Um, I also just recommend it in general, but this is also my knowledge without knowing what the upgrades do and how they can help you. Next, uh, let's talk about characters. So, straight up, Pathfinder at this point in the game has an interesting ability where if you send out a grappling hook and you jump just as the grappling hook hits something, you actually jump. Like if you jump, if you push, push the jump button at the same time that the grappling hook hits something, you actually fly a bit higher, I think it is, and it sends you fairly far. Um, there might be more to that, but it's also likely going to be patched at some point soon, I'd imagine. But, Pathfinder, if you're playing this character, you want to go into the roofs of buildings, um, wherever you land, I suppose, and try to hack this little computer-looking thing on top. Do that, and then you'll see where the red circle is going to appear next, which is fairly valuable information to your team. And, yeah, I don't know. It's good. It's good for moving around, flanking the enemy a little bit. Uh, lifeline. <clears throat> that is not a lot to say. Hill's teammates. Fairly good, fairly re reliable. Um, she has a fairly long charge time for both of her skills. So, keep that in mind. Um, you have to survive fairly long, and you have to have, in my opinion, you have to have fairly good skills in this game to be able to play her well. 
You have to live long enough to survive a fight by yourself and then be able to heal your teammates up. Uh, if you can't survive in a fight by yourself, this probably isn't the character for you. Even though you, th you, m you might think, oh, but it's a healer. Yes, it's a healer, but also you might just die immediately. And um, if you die instantly, there's no point in healing. And you can't revive your teammates faster either. But she can. Re but when she does revive her teammate, she does get a shield up around herself a little bit. So it it helps with the gamble a, a little. Yeah. Then we've got Gibraltar. I'm gonna roast this guy. So <laughs> I have an issue with him a little bit, a little bit, because just about every for me, most of his quotes, uh, his uh, what are, what are they called? Quips. Most of his quips. Are just him saying, uh, brother, a whole bunch, right? Good luck, brothers. Um, and you can go through all the kill ones, and you'll find a fair amount. Also, if you push them twice, oh, not too bad. Not too bad. he'll actually not have, uh... Either, brother. <laughs> he said brother again. He has, uh, two different voice lines, at least. Right? Oh, not too so, even if you go through all the voice lines once, and you don't hear brother, you do it a second time, and maybe you will. Um, but... Aside from the personal quote brother thing, um, Gibraltar, I feel, is a little bit bad in this game at the moment. On paper, he seems really nice because he does have that shield that bubbles around him for 15 seconds and his teammates. Um, now, apparently, you can't shoot in, you can't shoot out of that shield once you're in it, um, and you can't shoot into the shield when you're outside of it. Does that make sense? So anyway, bullets won't go through the shield. But, that doesn't stop uh, enemies from walking into the shield and then shooting you. In this game, the one thing that I've noticed is when Gibraltar's in trouble or an ally's in trouble or something like that, he'll put a shield down around them um, and then they'll go to heal. So what the enemy should be doing during that time um, is if you see a bubble down there's a good chance that they're healing and you can just go in and storm the place with your allies. So I feel like the huge glowing yellow bubble is a little bit of a giveaway as to your position and what you're trying to do. Um, his, more, his ultimate attack of like smoke bombs, ignore the dog in the background. The, the ultimate attack of like smoke bombs, I feel like is really fairly good um, and fairly similar to caustic. So it's useful, especially for reviving teammates and going to those revive machines. Uh, it's just, it, it keeps them out because they can't really see as much. The opposite of the bubble, <laughs> I guess. A bit. Uh, Bloodhound. I play as this character a little bit. He's fairly good if you can't, if you're struggling to find out where your enemies are. Because he has an ability where, and it recharges fairly quickly, I think it's like 30 second cooldown or something. You can look at all the en you can see if there's any enemies in front of you in your direct view or traps. Um, not that I think there's many traps in the game at the moment. There might be later, but yeah, if if you're struggling to see enemies, that's a that's a good one. I haven't worked out his how he tracks enemies yet either, but he he seems okay. I'd say he's pretty all right, all right round, all round right. I don't know, but this isn't. It doesn't look like a character where you're going to really excel at the game if you play him. Um, he's just going to be good for starting off and getting the idea of where enemies are. But also, if, you, if you're talking to your teammates, uh, the information of where enemies are is going to be really handy. Especially if they're, yeah, just lost. Wraith, <laughs> some people said she's a bit like Sombra from Overwatch. She's a lot more like... Uh, What's it called? Reaper. So, she has... Her ability is she goes basically invulnerable uh, for a few seconds. But what they didn't say is that this invulnerable ability actually has a bit of a start, a start up. So, uh, I'm going to say it's maybe a second or two. So, during that second or two, you're going to get hit, most likely. So... What I found was, I I got hit a few times, I was like, okay, I'm going to get into Wraith form. I pressed the button, and it didn't go automatically into it. It took a few seconds, and I, I died within that time before getting into Wraith. Um, it could have been lag, I don't know, but it, it is something to consider when playing her. She can also teleport, teleport her team, 
Um, although this ability seems pretty much useless. Um, when you're not communicating with your teammates. She can also hear whispers into the void with her passive ability, which means that when someone's aiming at you, you hear whispers in your ear. So that's a good time to possibly use your Wraith ability uh, and, you know, being vulnerable. But this only happens when they're aiming at you. Um, some enemies will just walk around a corner or something with a shotgun and just shoot you. <laughs> um, and other enemies, I, you know, you don't have to aim in this game. So, yeah. And by the time you hear the whispers, maybe they've already shot at you. Because it's kind of a kill or be killed game. So I feel like Wraith has a very interesting moveset. Uh, but it looks like she's trying to do several things at once. And that's okay. Her invulnerability is pretty great, apart from the startup. Um, but she gets a lot more usage if she's communicating with teammates. That's pretty. That, that's what I'm really trying to say. Um, which is, of course, you know, with teammates you're gonna do a lot better in this game anyway. But she has that ceiling where she can. Uh, she has a higher scale ceiling, I think, compared to some characters. <laughs> which characters? I don't know. All right, uh, Bangalore. Honestly, I'm not going to say anything about Bangalore. Uh, to me, she's a common soldier character, but she's probably a lot more. I don't, I haven't played her, so I can't say anything. So I'll leave that one up to you guys to decide on. If you think she's a standard soldier, or if you think she's one of the best characters in the game, like maybe offensively. Alright. Caustic, he is a trapper, as his name suggests. Uh, you know, he, he puts down the traps. And, uh, yeah, he's unavailable to me. <laughs> I was actually pretty upset that, uh, these two characters were both unavailable. Um, because I, I don't have the chance to play them. And I'm not going to for a very long time. Um, because if you look here, you know, it's quite the cost. <laughs> Didn't expect that to do that. Um, but from what I've seen of Mirage and gameplay, Mirage actually is probably my favourite character on here now. He can go invisible, which is huge. Uh, he can get his... He can send out a clone of himself when diving down into the battle at the very start, uh, choosing a landing position, which is amazing because you can actually confuse opponents by making them think that you're going somewhere else and you're landing somewhere else, and then they'll go and try and attack that clone because... They'll be looking around for ages thinking that there's an enemy that's just landing near them and then it's just a clone, it just fades. Um, so it can be really good, <laughs> which I think is great. You can use it to flank opponents, you can send one in one direction and then they'll... I don't know, they might catch on to it eventually, but it's, it's pretty good. It gives you a few seconds to think. Uh, it gives you a few seconds to maybe send one out and then look at where their position is when they start shooting at it, and then get the first drop on them. And his other ability, I think, makes his clone attack, but I'm not very sure. Attack an enemy. I feel like that's too many abilities for him, but I don't know. So, anyway, that's, that's Mirage. I think he... I think he has a pretty interesting ceiling of, like... I feel like I could get pretty good with this character because I feel like there's a lot of tricks that I could try to use to like play mind games with my opponents. But of course, mind games don't matter at all if you just get shot and died and die. Where something like uh, Wraith will be able to get hit once or twice, go into Wraith form, readjust to the situation maybe. Uh, Gibraltar will put down a big shield, enemies will walk into inside the shield probably if they're close enough, and then just uh, I don't know, shoot you. <laughs> If, if you got a little bit of health inside the shield or something like that, maybe the ability would be a little bit more different. Or if, like, enemies can walk inside of it. But at the moment, that's not the case, so... I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, Lifeline, like I said, good. I think the cool... Uh, there's a bit of time... I think for a BR game like this, where you kind of die... You, you can die really, really fast, really instantly. Um... You do have to be fairly skilled at this game to make Lifeline work. 
But once it does work, it seems like it's going to be okay. Um, especially if you want to revive teammates and you are a fairly skilled player. Um, yeah. Yeah. But also, I feel like her ultimate attack of dropping down... Um, what's it called? Defensive items might be a little bit bad because apparently uh, it notifies enemies on the map. I don't know how obvious this notification is, though. I don't know if it's just like you see a physical thing dropping or if it actually comes up on the minimap. If it comes up on the minimap, uh, then, you know, people are going to get better at reading uh, Lifeline's ultimate attack anyway, ultimate ability. But, like I said, she does have a fairly high scale. You have to be high, fairly highly skilled at the moment. Pathfinder, I like him. He uh, has my ability. If you're struggling to get places, you can just fling yourself around. The cooldown for that is extremely short. I think it's like 13 seconds or something. I found it to be really short anyway. Really useful. Um, by the time, once you've used it, you know, you, you wait like 30 seconds and it's already halfway back. <laughs> you go for a run to another bit, collect some loot and it's, it's back, you know. You shoot at some enemies and then suddenly you can do it again. Uh, and the zip line for getting teammates places with his ultimate ability, I feel like that's fairly useful as well. But it's also situational, so it depends on if you're communicating with your teammates and if it's kind of obvious where you want to go. Uh, also, getting high, getting onto some high ground with this character is pretty good as well. When you do it, when you're there with your team, because then you can all go down together. And I think that actually might kind of be it for my tips on this game, guys. Um, so, like I said, with Gibraltar, be careful. Maybe just place random shields. I don't know. <laughs> or, maybe place a shield down and have a shotgun equipped as well as, like, some sort of long-distance weapon like a sniper rifle. Um, so that when enemies do come into your bubble, you can just kind of try to one-shot them. Or, or just be ready for that. Um... But, yeah. Like I said, it might be kind of obvious, but the fact that it's obvious could be your greatest strength. Huh. Is that it? Yep. Oh. Also, something else I've noticed is, if you see enemies around, and they're fairly close, and they're shooting at you or something, and you're in trouble... Don't bother to ping their location. Focus on the match at hand. Focus at killing them. Killing them comes first. Uh, ping enemies if they're far away, far away and you can't shoot them, or if your team split up or something. Um, ping enemies if, especially if you can communicate with your team to get into a good position to fight them, rather than getting into a position. What? Well, rather than just pinging them because they're attacking you. Um, but that, that's pretty much all my tips. Biggest one, especially being just like, don't revive your teammates immediately, guys. It's fine if they need to bleed out. Um, if, if, they've, if they've bled out completely and you have to get, bring them to a revive station, that's also fine. The more important thing is winning the fight and then being able to continue with the game rather than the game ending and being the whole squad dying. Um, now, I'm not extremely talented at surviving in this game, especially not yet, being level 7. But, uh... I feel like I'm fairly technical, and I feel like this is, I feel like as far as a BR game goes, this is like top notch. They've done a lot of things right here. Uh, the server might not be big enough, <laughs> or whatever it is, but the game is still new. And considering it's just come out, and they've gone, and they've done so much good here, you can't help but think it's great. They've done so many things right, like respawning characters... Uh, having different heroes with different abilities. Um, once you're dead, it's not completely over. They've it, it's good. It's good, guys. All right. Anyway, you you, you already knew all that stuff. If you know any tips, uh, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I'd really like to hear them. I got to improve at this game, right? Anyway. I'm off to go play some Overwatch. <laughs>
support each other and take care guys i'll catch you all somewhere and good luck to everyone playing this game and the developers because this game needs to keep going through it's 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 so good i'm i'm sure we're going to see more characters in the future too all right bye